Hello students, welcome to grade 12 chemistry revision lesson on electronic configurations and classification of the elements. In our today's lesson, we will learn about electronic configurations, the modern periodic law and periodic properties of the elements. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to write ground states, electronic configurations of multi-electron atoms, classify elements as representative transition and inner transition elements, tell the general trends in the atomic radius, ionization energy, electron affinity and electronegativity. Students, if you are ready, then we will get started. Electronic configurations and orbital diagram. The electron configurations for any atom follows the following three principles. One, Aufbau principle or building up principle. This principle state that lower energy orbitals are filled with electrons before higher energy orbitals. This is order of energy of atomic orbitals in filling electrons. You see, one is atomic orbital is filled in electron before two s atomic orbital. Two s atomic orbital is filled with electrons before. 2p atomic orbitals. Therefore, the order is 1s, then 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d, and so on. This is Aufbau principle. Lower energy orbitals are filled with electrons before higher energy orbitals. Hundas principle. This principle state that equal energy orbitals known as degenerate orbitals are each occupied by a single electron before the second electrons of opposite spins enter the orbital. According to Hunter's principle, for degenerate orbitals before doubling, the vacant orbitals must be occupied with electrons. You can take nitrogen as an example. Nitrogen atoms satisfy Hunter's rule. Nitrogen with atomic number 7. Nitrogen, atomic number 7. Electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Orbital diagram for nitrogen atom. Orbital diagram, electronic configuration. 1s atomic orbital. You see, 1s atomic orbital, 2 electrons. 2s atomic orbital. Two electrons with opposite spin. 2p atomic orbitals. P subshell has three atomic orbitals. Px, Py, and Pz. You see? According to Hunter's rule, before doubling here, these vacant orbitals must be occupied with electrons. You see? With parallel spins. Therefore, the nitrogen atom satisfy Hunter's rule. Pauli's exclusion principle. This principle state that no two electrons in an atom can have the same four quantum numbers. The Pauli exclusion principle limits number of electrons in an orbital to two with opposite spin. An orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. For example, take helium, atomic number two. Helium, atomic number two. Electronic configuration, 1s2. Using orbital diagram, 1s atomic orbital, 1s atomic orbital, has two electrons, two electron, opposite spins. Now, what are the four quantum numbers 
for these two electrons. For the first electron, for this electron, the principal quantum number n is equal to 1. As mutual quantum number l is equal to l is equal to yes, this is s subshell. For s subshell, the value of l is 0. ML depends on l. For minus l, so 0 to plus l is 0. Ms for the first electron, for this electron. Now this electron open upward. Therefore, the value of Ms is plus 1 over 2, plus 1 over 2. You see? For the first electron, the value of N is 1, because it is found in the first energy level. L is equal to 0, is found in S subshell, ML equal 0, Ms equal plus 1 over 2. For the second electron, the value of n is the same, n equal 1, in the first energy level. L is equal to 0, S subshell. ML depends on L, is 0. Ms, Ms. Now this electron open downward. It is Ms volume is minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 2, you see? They differ in one of the quantum number, which is spin quantum number. The value of n is the same, n equal 1, n equal 1, l is equal to 0, l is equal to 0, ml is the same, but they differ in spin quantum number. Therefore, according to Pauli's exclusion principle, no two electrons in an atom can have the same four quantum numbers. Pauli exclusion principle limits number of electrons in an orbital to two with opposite spins. An orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. For example, how many unpaired electrons are present in arsenic with atomic number 33? Let us do together arsenic with atomic number 33, it's electronic configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p3. This is the electronic configuration of arsenic with atomic number 33. Now, how many unpaired electrons are present? You see? One is two, paired. These all are paired. But for P, the P subshell, P subshell has three orbitals, Px, Py, and Pz for P, atomic orbitals. You see? For P, three. Before doubling here, these vacant orbitals must be occupied with electrons. Electrons. Therefore, there are three unpaired electrons in arsenic with atomic number 33. Three unpaired electrons. Three unpaired, unpaired electrons. Unpaired electrons. Number two, for which of the following elements is Handa's rule used in writing electronic configurations? A. Boron with atomic number 5. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Handa's rule is not used in writing electronic configuration of boron. Beryllium with atomic number 4. Electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2. Handa's rule is not used here. Silicon with atomic number 14, electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. Here, Handa's rule is used in writing electronic configuration of silicon having atomic number 14. 3p2, p subshell has Two or three orbitals, three orbitals, three p two. See, before doubling here, this vacant orbital must be occupied with electrons. 
Therefore, Handa's rule is used in writing electronic configuration of silicon. Silicon. The modern periodic law. The modern periodic law states that the properties of the elements are periodic function of their atomic numbers. In the modern periodic table, elements are arranged in order of increasing their atomic numbers. Elements are arranged in modern periodic table by increasing atomic numbers into horizontal rows called parades. Horizontal rows of elements horizontal rows of element is parade. Vertical column of the periodic table is group. Group. Elements can be classified as representative or main group elements. This consists of all S and P block elements. S and P block elements. Why they are called S block elements because their last electron, their valence electron, inter S orbital. Their last electron fall onto S subshell, S orbit. If you take one of the S block elements, lithium, lithium with atomic number 3, see lithium with atomic number 3, it's electronic configuration 1S2, 2S1. It is last electron fall onto S orbital, S subshell. Therefore, lithium is an S block element. Take one of the P block elements, example carbon, with atomic number 6. It is last electron fall onto P orbital. Therefore, carbon is a P block element. Valence electrons are filling the S or P orbitals. Include group 1M, group 1M, up to 8M, 2M, 3M, 4M, 5M, 6M, 7M, 8M. These are representative or main group elements. Two transition elements found between S block and P block elements. Transition elements are found between S and P block elements. Valence electrons are being added to the D orbital of the outermost shell. They are called D block elements because their last electron fall onto D subshell, D orbital, designed as B groups, you see? 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, 8B, 1B, 2B. Found in period 4, 5, 6, and 7. Period 4, period 5, period 6, period 7. There are 7 periods and 18 groups in the modern periodic table. Properties of transition elements are all metals have variable valences more than one oxidation number. For example, iron, iron plus two, iron plus three, and so on, okay? Chromium plus three, chromium plus seven, chromium plus six, and so on. Make colored compounds, transition metals, make colored compounds. Form complex compounds. These are some properties of transition elements, D block elements. Inner transition elements. These are the F block elements. Why they are called F block elements? Because their last electrons fall onto F subshell, F orbital. There are two series of F blocks found in period 6 and 7. Period 6 and 7. Called lanthanides and actinides are also called rare earth metals. Inner transition elements are also called inner rare earth metals. Rare earth metals. Periodic properties of elements. One, atomic size. 
atomic size. The exact size of an atom cannot be measured because its outer shell electrons have chance of being found at relatively large distance from the nucleus. Now, atomic size increases down the group. Why? Because number of shells increases down the group. Atomic size decreases across a period in moving from left to right because the effective nuclear charge increases across a period. If we take period two elements, period two elements, lithium, lithium with atomic number three, beryllium, atomic number four, boron, atomic number five, carbon, atomic number six, nitrogen, atomic number seven, oxygen, atomic number eight, fluorine, atomic number nine, and neon, atomic number 10. What is the effective nuclear charge of lithium? Not that effective nuclear charge is the net positive charge acting on the outer electrons. Therefore, that effective, that effective equal actual nuclear charge Z minus shielding electrons S. See? The effective nuclear charge equal actual nuclear charge minus shielding electrons. Now, the effective nuclear charge for lithium is that effective. That effective for lithium is nuclear charge. Actual nuclear charge of lithium is number of protons. Three, three minus shielding electrons. Lithium electronic configuration is two, one. Electrons that cover the outer energy level is two, two. Now three minus two is plus one, plus one. For beryllium, that defective is nuclear charge for minus shielding electron is two plus two. For boron, that defective effective nuclear charge is nuclear charge five minus shielding electron. Electrons that cover the valence electron, electronic configuration of boron is two stream. Therefore, five minus inner electrons two is plus three, plus three. For carbon, plus four. For nitrogen, plus five. For oxygen, plus six. For fluorine, plus seven. For neon, plus eight. You see? In moving from left to right across a period, the effective nuclear charge increases. Therefore, atomic size decreases. Ionization energy. Ionization energy is energy absorbed or ionization energy is energy required to remove an electron from an isolated gaseous atom. Atom in gaseous state plus energy. This energy is ionization energy to form a cation. Ion plus in gaseous state plus removed electron. Now the change in energy equal ionization energy is greater than zero. Energy is required to remove electrons from an isolated gaseous atom. The first ionization energy, energy required to remove the first electron is less than the second ionization energy, energy required to remove the second electron, less than the third ionization energy, energy required to remove the third electron, less than the fourth ionization energy. Ionization energy increases across a period. Ionization energy increases across a period. Why? Because across a period, the effective nuclear charge increase, but decrease down the group because number of shells increases down the group. Therefore, ionization energy decreases. The other one is electronegativity. Electronegativity is defined as it is the power of an atom to attract shared electrons, bonded electrons. Electronegativity decreases down the group. 
while increases across a period. Electron affinity. This is energy released when extra electron is added to an isolated gaseous atom. Electron affinity decreases down the group because atomic size increases down the group, but increase across a period. Across a period, atomic size decrease, but electron affinity increase. Metallic character. We know that metals are known by losing of electrons. Therefore, metallic character increase down a group, but decrease across a period. Students, in our today's lesson, we learned how to write the electronic configuration of elements. We used the three principles, the Aufbau principle, Henders rule and Pauli exclusion principle. Aufbau principle states that lower energy orbitals are filled with electrons before high energy orbitals. Henders rule, according to Henders rule, degenerate for degenerate orbitals, before doubling electrons, vacant electrons must be occupied the Pauli exclusion principle limits number of electrons in an orbital to two. An orbital can accommodate a maximum of two electrons. According to the Pauli exclusion principle, no two electrons in an atom can have the same four quantum numbers. We learned the classification of elements. Elements are classified as representative or main group elements transition elements and inner transition elements. We discussed the periodic properties of elements such as atomic size, electron affinity, ionization energy, and electronegativity. This brings us to the end of our today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.